What we're going to talk about in this short video is enhancements to a couple of tools. First, it will be the place active line terminator, which is now associative, and what's new with the delete element tool. First, we'll look at the place active line terminator and to compare prior version of MicroStation, MicroStation V8i, and the new version, MicroStation Connect, the decomposed granite note here, this was placed in the prior version of MicroStation. What somebody did was they placed in a beast line and then they used the place active line terminator with the AHT arrowhead at the end. We're going to see what happens if I use the move element tool and I move the text and the beast line. I'm going to hit the space bar. I'm going to go to move. I'm going to select those two elements and you'll note that the arrowhead or the terminator didn't select and now I'm going to move that note and what you'll notice is that the B spline and the text moved but the terminator was disassociated so it didn't move so I'm going to do an undo so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that same arrowhead using the place active line terminator for MicroStation Connect Edition so I'm going to come up to my placement and I'm going to see place active line terminator on my tool settings window, my terminator set to AHT. I'm going to select the B spline and I'm going to do a data to accept. And what you're first going to notice is the arrowhead is placed, but you notice it didn't follow the direction of the B spline. And the reason that is, is that I used a cell, the AHT cell, that is a point cell and point cells are view independent. That means if the view is rotated, which this view is, the arrowhead doesn't rotate with the view. So we have a tool, it's called Fix Cell, and we're gonna run that. Those of you who've worked in MicroStation before probably know about this tool already. Well, where is this tool located? Well, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna go up here to my search ribbon, and I'm gonna type in F-I-X, and what we're going to see is it already shows up because I've used it recently. If I wanted to know where it's located, which tab, which group, I can move my cursor over right here and it's going to show me it's in the drawing workflow the ct tools tab in the ct cell tools group now i'm just going to go ahead and select fix cell up here and what you'll notice is when i do this it's going to run the program and you're going to notice that terminator will rotate to align with the b spline here we go you see how it aligned now that's something that we've been doing for a long time now here's going to be the difference if i move the b spline circle and the text, you're going to note that the arrowhead will go with it. I'm going to hit the space bar. My pop-up menu appears. I'm going to go to move. I'm going to select those elements right there. You notice again, the terminator isn't selected, but watch what happens when I move this. You see the arrowhead went with it and it gets better. Let me do an undo. If I was to modify the B spline, again, hit the space bar, Go to Modify, select Modify Element, and I'm going to select the end of the B spline, and I'm going to reposition it. I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to use the nearest snap, so I hit the letter N, and I locate a point along there. And what you see is the arrowhead went with it. Now, this is going to work whether that's a B spline or it's a line. It doesn't really matter. That's the way Place Active Line Terminator works. It's now associated with the element that it's placed on. Again, if you are in a rotated view, you'll still have to run the fixed cell. Now let's take a look at delete. So let's say I wanted to delete some elements here, and let's say this call out right up here, I would like to delete that. What we've done in the past to select multiple elements, you've gone to your element selection tool, you've selected the multiple elements you plan to delete. Then I went up to the modify tools and then I could select the delete icon right here and that would delete those selected elements. So I'm gonna do an undo. And this time I'm just gonna go straight to the delete element tool. What we've done is we've built in the selection functionality into the delete element tool. So I don't have to independently go to element selection, select the elements I want, and then go to the delete tool to delete them. If you watch what I do, I'm going to hold the left button down. And again, I'm not in element selection. I'm in the delete tool. I'm going to release the left button. They're highlighted. I then left click or data to accept and they're gone. So that's a couple of small enhancements. The place active line terminator is now associative and the delete element tool now has element selection built into it. <music>